Hey, today we're going to do something a little different. Um, I have Substance Painter and I like using it with iClone. You get a lot of different options on materials. And I just wanted to provide a pretty simple, straightforward video on how to, how to use Substance with iClone, how to bring in your mesh, do your texturing and export that so it works really well with with iClone so we're just going to make this uh, low poly tree or texture this low poly tree uh, the the tree itself is already made but it's just a pretty simple uh, texture here and i'll show you some different options and you can obviously once you watch this video you can learn a lot and do a lot more than this this is just a really simple quick example so please enjoy Okay, so I just got this model. It's uh, a free model. It's a cartoon low poly tree and from Turbo Squid and the uh, artist is Static Brett. So you can just go to Turbo Squid or, or any other source and grab a model and just downloaded this model. And so we're going to load up Substance Painter and basically the first thing you need to do is, is click on File and New or hit Control N and we're going to need to select our 3D model and so I have this right here I'm going to open that up and basically for the normal map format we're going to need to select OpenGL and the document resolution there's a lot of choices here we can go all the way up to 4k um, this is low poly, so I'm going to select something pretty low and we will add the uh, meshes later. So we're going to hit OK here. And then to rotate your view, just hit the Alt button and right mouse button. Um, you can zoom in as well, holding the Alt with your wheel and you can pan around if our um, pan around by holding your wheel in depending on how you have your mouse set up alt and hold wheel in to pan around so we have a, a very simple model here it starts it up as a read only and you can see here my maintenance is expired uh, you probably saw that Adobe is uh, in the act of purchasing substance painter and substance products I do have a perpetual license so I kind of want to see what happens there before I renew anything uh, but I do have a perpetual indie license so um, I can still use it and so now I'm gonna go ahead and just save this model and we are going to save this quickly here and it saves it as an SPP file and so we're just gonna call this tree and so one, the next step we need to do to get this ready for iClone is we want to click on this texture set settings and down here you're going to say bake mesh maps. And so it gives us a whole bunch of options here and we don't need thickness and ID. We set this as um, we want to set it to the material color and hit apply all because there are two layers on here, um, two texture sets on here. And so let's go ahead and bake all of the texture sets now. It'll go pretty quick here because it's only two sets. Okay, so now we have our texture sets here and they'll start showing up in this panel down here as well. Here are all the materials we can select and brushes. And so I'm going to concentrate on the, the materials. And so first thing we need to do is figure out what we're painting on or what we're setting our texture as. And the easiest way to do this is select uh, the whatever section you want to uh, texture to. And I just hit solo. So now we know this is the base of the tree. And so I'm going to pick something with a little bit of texture. Um, I do have some uh, I do have some really good wood. Um, meshes but or textures but I'm just gonna try this one first um, so I just drag that to the to the place or to the actual um, material that we were texturing but if you want to you can also look at it from your layer standpoint so now I have this on top I'm gonna put this other layer back on top of there 
Um, so that doesn't look terrible. If I wanted to change the color, I would just pick the actual layer. And I can go down here and change some settings down here. Uh, so we can go a little bit lighter if we want to look at make it look a little more cartoony. And so we'll, we'll leave it pretty close to that. And so we can also change the UV rotation if we don't like the way that that, that bark looks. Just turn it there and you can change the scale, make it smaller or bigger. And so once you get it the way you want it, that's pretty good. We're going to go ahead and do the next piece. And so I'll solo that one. And so this one, let's try something a little different. And we can we can pick almost anything here and, and change the colors. So we got to decide how glossy we want to make it. So you can get a preview if you hover over these materials. So that kind of has a, a little bit neat of a texture there, even though it's a fabric. I kind of like that. So we'll go in and now change this color. We're going to make it more of a green color. And it's, that's pretty good there. I kind of like that. Again, I'll put this layer back on top here. Um, so that kind of has a unique um, flair to it for a, a little bit of a model. So again, we can change our scale. Kind of like that there. Show a little bit of that texture. And so now if we want to, we can also paint um, right on top of these textures. So I'll, I'll turn both these on. But I know I have the canopy of this tree selected right now. If I wanted to, I could pick, like, say, uh, let's go to our brushes here. I want to have a pretty sharp brush here. So we'll go basic hard. Go back to this layer. Pick that one. Double click that. And so now I have a brush. And so it's going to make brush marks wherever I place it. So I can kind of place these. Let me change this color a little bit. That's pretty white. And so I'm going to change this actually to a red. Yeah, that's better. So let's just go ahead and put some of these on there for our simulated apple tree. Put some more on there. Okay, and so we can do a number of things here. Um, <clears throat> obviously, we're, we're painting and we're texturing, but we can also we can also do some different um, extra things, and we can go in and do some different shapes on here. So if I wanted to, I could have made those apples with a kind of a circle bump. And so all I would need to do is go into the bump section here. Actually, I'm going to make a new, I'll go ahead and make a new layer just to show you that. So we are just going to go on to whatever section we want to paint on. We're still on the canopy here and I'm going to add a layer and then it's a stack. So I'm on top here. I'm going to go into here. And I'm going to pick my circle bump here. Uh, which one do I like? Okay, that's pretty good. So now when I put these, paint these on here, I'm going to get some, a little bit of an indentation, which is a little bit different look. It's kind of a simulated 3D because it's bump map. And so you can paint these on wherever you want them. And those are going to get now included with my texture set. So this is just a trial, so I will now export this for you guys for iClone. So it's pretty simple to do that. We're just going to go up here to File, and we're going to export the textures. First thing we want to do is set our location. I'm going to put them right back in that 3D Objects folder. And then we will need to change this to uh, the document channels here with no alpha. And I'm going to go ahead and hit export. 
Well, I can also select my sizes here if I wanted to change that. I'm still at 512. I'm going to keep that. And I can hit export. And obviously that was really fast. You can open the folder here. And now you can see all those textures are, are very nicely placed for you, ready to go for iClone. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is open those the file in the 3D model file into 3D Exchange. And so I'll open that up, bring that tree in. You can also drag and drop this from uh, Windows Explorer or from, from a Mac. And I'm just going to select the default. There's my tree. I'm going to set this to the ground. And then now I have to load my textures in. And so we're going to select the material with this dropper. And so it says cartoon, that's the canopy there. And we can add them from this, this menu by click, clicking on the, the box there. And I'm gonna show you though, it, it kind of gets a little confusing here with 3D Exchange between 3D Exchange and iClone. Not sure why it is this way, but we can go ahead and pick that. So I'll pick the canopy. And I can go ahead and continue to add the, the different um, sections of the material here. But if you look at these, these names are a lot different than iClone. So opacity bump, specular gloss, reflection, and blend. And so those are, those are actually different than what you're going to see in iClone. And so I'm just going to stop there and I'll finish this up in iClone. So let's go ahead and export that to iClone. Little poly tree. And we're going to embed what textures are there. I'm going to downsize these just to make the file a little smaller to 512 and hit OK. And obviously that's very fast. And so we'll get iClone opened up here. Okay, now we have just a blank iClone project. And so I'm gonna import in our, first of all, we're gonna to need to just import in our iProp. And so this loads up. You can see it does have the texture on the uh, the screen immediately and something's a little weird about it you can see it's a little bit light so let's take a look at the settings of that material um, look at that canopy there and so you can see the strength for some reason automatically gets bumped down you can turn that back up and we're gonna we're gonna want to use the uh, the actual base color as and S RGB. I gotta pick it first. Be smart. There we go. And that brightens it up quite a bit. Next thing we need to do is add the different sections of the texture in. So to do that, we're just gonna drag and drop those in there. It's a little bit easier because it doesn't remember your path very easily. So I'll go ahead and add those in quickly. And so what I typically do is for the the bump map i'm going to use a normal it's going to confirm that you want to use it as a normal Just hit okay after you select that and we're going to have our metallic we're going to have our ao we're going to have a height map which we're going to place in displacement and select as a height map and we will also have um we have bump map where's our roughness there we go roughness map okay so that looks pretty good you can also add a uh, opacity and glow and blend in yourself those aren't typically exported from substance but that's pretty easy to do you can say, take some of the defaults or just use a white or a black here for opacity and so now the next thing we'll do is go ahead and use the um do the do the uh, base of the tree as well. And so we'll open that window back up. The base. And we're going to do the displacement. Diffuse A. 
go. Roughness, metallic, and yeah. Nah, cancel that. I want to do this normal here. Okay. There we go. And so again, we want to bump up the strength. If you want to see it, we already have that selected as a S RGB. So this looks pretty good. Let's zoom in here. Oops. Okay. So we're pretty much seeing the same thing that we saw on substance, which is really good. Pretty happy with that. And so if, if you like your product, obviously now you can uh, take this and save it as a prop. So we'll make a custom prop here. And get the screen, it's gonna take a screenshot of it. So go ahead and get it zoomed in there so you can get a nice view of it. And just hit the plus here, low poly apple tree okay so now that's available we can just drag and drop it uh, you can also save these materials so if you are exporting different materials out of substance you can save these as custom materials to use later which is kind of a time saver but there it is so um pretty simple hopefully you guys learned a little bit it's it's really pretty simple um i you know, it took me a little bit of time to get just sort out uh, to simplify the process of of using substance with iClone, but it is pretty simple to use. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.